17, I said, well, Dad, I said, you're going to sign me in now. Let me get in the Navy because it's going to draft me. One or the other. So he probably signed when I went to 17. And that's when I went to my basic training in San Diego. And, uh, and I took my, my uh, boat training there also. Learned how to land the LCM and LCM people. Benefit. I'm Tech Sergeant Brendan Robertson from Vandenberg Air Force Base. Um, been uh, in the Air Force for 15 years. I volunteered today to help our veterans um, get all their services and help them out in any way in the community. I'm John Haynes. I'm from Vietnam. I came up to see what opportunities were available. I'm from Long Beach. I now live up here in Pismo Beach area. Hello, I'm, I'm Peter Bradford, Secretary of Veterans Affairs from the state of California. 
Major General, U.S. Army, retired. I'm here at the uh, stand down at the Santa Maria for, for Santa Barbara County. This stand down is designed to uh, bring all the collaborative partners together and services together to assist veterans and their families. Veterans are the most important commodity in this country. We need to recognize their service. We do that by identifying their needs and services and fill those gaps and needs to make sure that we uh, have a viable veteran community in the nation. Uh, whether it be health, education, housing, or health care, uh, we focus on their needs. And so this is a great, a great day and a great event. I just wanted to, uh, I want to welcome all of you to the first ever Santa Barbara County Stand Down. <laughs> to all the veterans that are here, I got one thing to say to you, welcome home. Thank you for your service and thank you for being here. still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the Well, Supervisor, do you have a comment on what we've just seen? I do. Thank you so much for being there and, and <laughs> filming that. Uh, it's nice to have a record of uh, what we did. One of the things that uh, we probably were lacking in is having somebody going around and, and, and recording for us. So uh, really appreciate that, Bill. And it was nice seeing you there. And, uh, uh, you know, we had some still photography, but I think that's that could be the only video that's out there, really. So. <laughs> and I love Bill's touch. I saw it several times at home, and I love Bill's touch of when the flags came on, uh, having those words from Star Spangled Banner. Right. I, it moves right. me every yeah. time it, I see it. it. There was a there was a number of times uh, throughout the day where I got a little choked up. Uh, yes. Also. Thanking the, the the volunteers that were there, we had over 800 volunteers sign up to help. Now, some people couldn't work all day, so a lot of people were doing shifts, two hours here, four hours there. But there were a lot of people that were there the entire day. It was on a Saturday. That was Bill. Uh, that was Bill. <laughs> but you know, there were uh, there were uh, you know, and the other thing was, uh, although we didn't have anybody under 18 there because uh, stand down, they, they want adults only working there. Mm -hmm. But we had kids that went out and spent their weekends. Now we hear a lot of things about teenagers. These kids would sit out in front of a Walmart and say, you know, ask people if while you're in there, could you buy a towel for a veteran or could you buy some uh, t-shirts for a veteran? And so uh, it was nice to see the next generation uh, realizing the connection that they need to have with uh, those that put on a uniform. So that was kind of cool to see. Too. Before we get through, Supervisor, <coughs> I would like to discuss an, another matter in, mm -hmm. involving you. Uh, you proposed to the uh, Board of Supervisors a feasibility study to bring into existence a mental health treatment center in Santa Maria. Would you tell us something about that? Sure, Bill. One of the things that I've found since I've been on the board, which has been two years, is that we just don't have adequate resources 
uh, to deal with the, those that suffer from mental illness in our society. Uh, basically what happens now is if you have somebody that suffers uh, and you're a family member, you dial 911 and uh, the person either goes to the emergency room and our emergency room doctors have told us they can stabilize them, but they're not, uh, they don't have the professional background to deal with somebody that's suffering a psychotic break or those types of things. So they either go 911 and go, you go to the emergency room or people call uh, the police and they end up in our jail system. So what I proposed was uh, Marion Regional Medical Center, uh, Marion Hospital, had a, has another facility, a smaller facility in Santa Maria, and uh, they're looking at doing geriatric psychiatry there. And they said, we've got some excess space. If you'd like to come in and take a look at it for acute beds for uh, people suffering from mental illness, uh, we'd be interested in partnering, partnering with you on the licensing. And so basically what we're doing now is we hired a firm to go out and do a feasibility study to make sure uh, we vet it properly. Uh, but the whole board is in full um, agreement that we, uh, we need more acute psychiatric beds here in Santa Barbara County. And at the meeting where you proposed the feasibility study, which has to be done uh, first, uh, of course, um, Sheriff Bill Brown spoke uh, about the overcrowding mm -hmm. of the jail with people who should not be in jail, who are mentally ill. And there, some people call up and call 911, and the police have no other place to take them. Right. And what's really sad, and the sheriff's been a huge supporter for us on this, is he's told us many times, the jail is not good for the mentally ill, and the mentally aren't, ill aren't good for the jail. Uh, we've found through studies that it's cheaper in the long run to provide treatment for people rather than to incarcerate them. So jail has its need, and, and we do know that there are people on the street that need to be behind bars, unfortunately, but it's not those suffering from mental illness. So Now, the uh, hospital that you're proposing this to, is this similar to what UCLA does in L.A.? Or you know, we're studying different models. Different areas and so, for the mentally uh, ill. You know, uh -huh. We're kind of looking at different models, and that's one of them that we're, that we're trying to take a look at. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously, you'd never want to reinvent the wheel if it's being done somewhere else. Uh, we Go ahead, just like we did with Stand Down. Uh, you know, a lot of good ideas are already out there. We don't need to go out and, and invent new ones. But uh, we're going to try to find a model that works and follow that. And uh, Where the mentally ill can get help and be cured, and not just, hopefully. It's just not having them in beds, but also being there with the substance abuse counseling. Bring the whole uh, enchilada together so that we have all the services there that we can provide under one roof. We have less than a minute left. Tell us briefly something about you, a supervisor. Where do you come from? Well, I uh, grew up in Santa Maria, so um, moved away and went off to Phoenix to, to uh, get involved in the aerospace industry, but uh, en ended up coming back and I guess getting involved in the family business. My dad's been the mayor of Santa Maria for quite some time, uh, married to a beautiful wife, Marion, and have three lovely kids. And how old are your children? My children now, I had the first one just became a pharmacist, so 28, 24, and 19. Terrific. Well, Supervisor Lemonina, we very much appreciate your being our guest today. Um, I don't know if it's any political benefit to you to have any fans here in the second district, <laughs> but you have two here. Well, and, and I love your second district supervisor, Janet Wolf. She's, yes, uh, she's she a firecracker, and we, we get along very well together.